Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now it has been quite a while and I hope you guys are doing good. Now for today's video, I am doing a cheek and a lip swatch of the newly launched Swiss Beauty Cheek and Tint Creams. Now they have come out in six shades. I have all the six of them. As always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. quickly go over with the description and the features of these tints. Now it says that this cream and tint multitasks like you and can give your lips, cheeks and eyelids a tint along with long lasting moisture. It is super light with goodness of vitamin E and olive oil to give you a natural fresh and glowing look all day long. Now this is like it said before multi-purpose tint for lips, cheeks and eyelid, natural flushing glow, long lasting nourishment blended with natural and essential oils now these are priced at 199 rupees for 8 grams of product and i picked mine off of nika but right now unfortunately it's not there at all like it's not even showing up but then these are available on amazon so this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this tiny little tub and uh, at the top you have is the shade name and at the back you have is all the other details like the manufacturing the expiry the price and the weight as well so once you take off the cap it comes in this protective lid which is a good thing and this is how the actual product looks like and now let's finally move on to the swatches
all right so let's talk about the formula the pros and the cons now coming to the formula these are quite mousy in texture and they are quite pigmented as well however when you blend it it blends into a nice sheer sort of a tint which i do personally like because i have had other cream blushes which are quite pigmented and then even by mistake because i'm a heavy-handed person you put a little bit extra then you'll have to sit and rework your makeup not like rework rework but you know just like try to fix it so rather than that this is much more of a better option because you are in control of how much you want to apply depending upon your personal preference hey guys so i forgot to mention one thing again on this point is that these as a blush or a lip tint are much more pigmented without makeup or with minimal makeup wherein when you add foundation uh, concealer and loose powder and all that base it doesn't give as much pigmentation as you are in your bare skin i hope i'm making sense now just to add on to this point is the fact that these are quite buildable and you would have seen in the swatch video that i did reapply a couple of times to some of the shades and at the same time it did not disrupt my makeup underneath which is a good thing and also once these are blended it sets into a matte finish now these can be applied using a sponge or a brush however it does take a little extra time to blend them seamlessly and i would personally recommend using your fingers because the warmth of finger kind of helps it kind of blend quicker now it doesn't mean the brush or sponge doesn't work it's just that you save a bit of time by using your fingers and also you do have to blend them a little fast because it does set pretty quickly now as a lip tint it does set into a matte finish which i mentioned before and it does give that nice blurred sort of a look which is perfect for that natural no makeup makeup sort of a look like for example right now i am wearing this bright red color which is called rose apple and this is how it looks like which is beautiful now these do not feel like you're wearing any lipstick at all like it does not feel anything at all at the same time it doesn't dry out your lips it's just like how you would be without any lipstick or lip balm or anything that's how it feels like oh and also they do not transfer once it has set like for example there is almost zero transfer now having said that after you have like any sort of a meal not just the heavy meal it does completely vanish off so yeah now for the longevity of these as a blush now with makeup it will depend on how good your base makeup is but it will still be visible end of the day like it doesn't go off completely however without any makeup it completely goes off in like two to three hours on my oily extremely oily skin because that day when i wore the shade like fruity fig uh i wore it on my lips and my cheeks and then in like three hours or so it completely vanished like i will insert a video of the before and after along with the timestamps and everything but it completely went off because i am extremely oily and i was sweating a lot i was outside my mask was on as well and uh, yeah it just disappeared now coming to the FYI there are two quick points the first point is that these do have a smell to it now you can smell it only if you take it this close to your nose but then when you apply it on your lips or your cheeks it doesn't smell of anything at all but if you sniff it so close to your nose you get that medicine sort of a smell you know like when you go to a medical shop it has that smell that's how it smells like i hope this makes sense but yeah again it's not overpowering it's not strong or anything just that if you go this close to it is when you kind of get that smell and the last fii is that these do not stain your lips or your cheeks with or without makeup and lastly for the cons there are again two points the first point is the longevity of these are not that great as a blush especially if you have oily skin like mine then it will not last that much at all like two to three hours like i mentioned before but then again if you have like dry skin or normal skin you will love this product and a little goes a long way with these so you will like this you can ignore this point but yeah if you have an oily skin it will not last as a blush and as a lip tint no matter your skin type obviously it is not going to last again it gives a nice beautiful blurred effect but then it does not last after eating anything as such so yeah that's the first con for me oh i almost forgot to mention is that if you want to make it last a little bit more longer you can set these with a translucent loose powder and it will be helpful with the longevity of these as a blush now the second con is to do with the packaging which is a very very personal opinion or preference you could say is because i do not prefer any jar or a pot sort of a makeup product now even with the laneige lip sleeping mask it took me a very very long time to get used to it but 
yeah there is a way to work around it obviously you can have like a spatula sort of a thing or a fresh clean sponge or a brush to dunk in and use the product but i am a lazy person and the laziness prevails so i will be continuing to use it with my fingers so yeah that is the reason why it is a con for me personally Oh, and there is actually one other con and that is to do with the fact that there is zero swatches available online like nothing on the arms or anything as such it just has a picture of the shade which is again not exactly matching because it looks different once you blend it so yeah there's no swatches last con so overall in my personal opinion i do not find the cons to be like a huge deal breaker and i do love these products i do recommend them i will be continuing to use them as well because i have already used the shade fruity fig a lot of times whenever anyone comes home you know it gives that natural flush of color on your lips so it doesn't look like you have actually made an effort to put on a lipstick or anything it just looks like your lips but better you know so i have used these products i will continue to use them so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the swiss beauty cream and tint and this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my do I will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanayar on Instagram and Ishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.